They are even communicating their picks um, on Discord, I see, since the lobby chat isn't working. Yep. On the burning catapult, uh, it's so nice to see on that graphic as we are loading in. I can never read that's... the tips uh, because we're loading <laughs> so fast. Uh, okay, I'll pass on that we need to enlarge those tips. Slow down my loading time. <laughs> uh, there was Velasco's actually asking for that. For extending the loading time? Um, yeah, actually, he was, uh, he was uh, not thrilled about the fact that we uh, shortened that. Uh, yeah, appa appa apparently he used to be able to smoke an entire cigarette uh, between the time that he pressed play and the times that he was actually logged in, uh, which is not going to be possible anymore. He was also reading those tips, that's why he's, he's so good. Read those tips, guys. They're really useful. So what do you think, Sasha? What royal protest have to do in order to secure the first victory against Lesbos Arches and mm. make that undefeated team defeated once? I think I think it would need to be a mix picking up on the first opening or mistake uh, and just building on that. Uh, and and I think that's the thing that's going to be difficult. Uh, for them, because uh, that's the one thing that uh, that those guys are actually really cut good at, uh, is not ground. making those kinds of mistakes. They are going to force a mistake, and they have tools to do so in the shape of long-ranged units, or rather advantage in those long-ranged units. So they can force the enemy to come to them close distance, and that's where the enemy uh, formation stretches out and create an opening. Wait, hold on, I'm uh, need to recheck where I'm going. First blood. Yeah. Resum Sarches, first of all, um, secure first blood, which means that now um, the Repotas have to answer that. Um, and that allows them to do what they're doing, which is retreat back um, into comfortable defensive positions. But that may turn against them, because there's they will be camping behind cliffs. And if the enemy with superior range forces them to leave those caves, that's an additional distance they have to cover. Now, Saka's archers are also roaming around alone, especially considering that the enemy team has three cavalry players. That's a very risky maneuver. Let's see Frigid's elephants rushing down the middle, struggling to cross the burned forest. The other XY is scouting, but paying quite a hefty price for it. Already lost 40% of his health. Oh, that hurts. And the Virto got really punished for uh, sticking his head out. Yeah, seeing in the meantime managed to sneak on the other side and punish Nuberto. Pretty much equaling the score between the two teams. Let's well, just are retreating now even further. They are reacting to the flanking maneuver. Um, Bastid and his team are going straight for the base. Well, we not straight, but they are going there. They're going there. They're just pushing, you know. Just it's uh, slight push uh, to the side track. Frigurt is definitely um, doing some quite literally on mid rush with his elephants. And Tunas of Arches need to reposition quickly, otherwise, they may be in trouble. Right, because they are very close to being in range of the... And they are is, backing up. Yeah, and this is the forcing of mistakes that we've been talking about. By forcing Lesbos Arches team to pull back to their own base, um, they are creating a lot of chaos in that retreat, which may open some gates for the cavalry to charge in those uh, range units. And as I speak about it, there's a charge going into Arasa Warrior Slingers. Yes, and there is, and that was London. actually really punishing. It does seem like they managed to uh, to separate and isolate a few guys. 
Uh, if you're looking at uh, that Tiberius Pike unit, it, it seems to be completely uh, in the wrong position to me. Yeah, and that slinger of damage is very important because now our Lesbos, uh, Red Pelotas team have huge advantage in terms of uh, slingers, and that translates into even bigger advantage in long range fight, and forcing the enemy to come to them. The very spikes are isolated, charge uh, from behind by VRXY. The spikes won't have a good day. Lesbos Archer's team trying to pull back their base. Half the team is already there, the other half still going. I still need to get rid of, uh, of the last of breaks. Ravish Panat sees he's one of these units. If Dot sees the opportunity, he can charge him in the back. It looks like he didn't, doesn't notice it. Bastard already made his way inside the walls of the base, but he's pulling back for now. Spanat's actually finding a charge into the OTL. But uh, Lesbos Archie's team is now all over the place, really. Even with their melee units, Spanat's acting like as a cavalry to so relieve his uh, multi spear. Well, found inside the base, being shot at by weak pirate gentlemen. The ATL may go for an opening, but he's just standing there for now. Our base is under attack! Oh, he'll be trapped in the burger. And he'll actually find the charge in there. Probably oh, not. I think he was silenced. Most likely. No, this is, this is actually Sula. No idea why he didn't charge them. Look at that. Trying to deal the damage to these elephants. Yeah, one of them is uh, nearly down, they need to focus on the one with lowest HP, which they're doing. The base cap is actually going very strong, they need to react to it. It is going to go very fast. Osaka is now unprotected, but he's tricking Crush on Prince. Oh god! Oh, yes, he just that hurt! Him. Yeah, he just nicked him completely. He's completely undefended, but Prussian Prince didn't realize that this is Arminius Hodges on infantry. I'm guessing he was focusing on a different uh, part of the map. Yeah. Probably trying to run away from Nugato. But he actually gets his revenge by charging into the uh, Koss. Yeah. Also, those units that are uh, that were going to cap very, uh, very convincingly, now they're actually being surrounded in there by Tiberius and Spanats. Yeah. And you can and see actually that the uh, HP gap is growing. Yeah. I think Osaka again with his arches finding those volleys from behind. A really good positioning thanks to that Arminius momentum. Yeah, burning down Clanker. And that damage from those arches is insane. Now good friendly fire onto VLXY and Uberto. And that HP advantage is growing very rapidly for Lesbos Arches. Elephants are mostly dealt with, there's only one remaining with half HP. And the weak pirate is shooting him, yep. but he lost most of his javelins though. Yeah, Cosinus and Osaka are still there. See, Peltas did find that small mistake, that misalignment, and tried to use it, but unfortunately it looks like it's turning, uh, turning around to bite them. Rasgus is now coming in from the north side, but I think that's just a miscoordination in that push from the side of Royal Peltests. They were supposed to create uh, gaps by forcing uh, Lesbos Arches to retreat, and they did, but they failed to stay coherent as a team themselves as well. And that I think what is what cost them the victory here. The OTL trying for that charge. Might have had a really good opportunity to do a lot of damage to Osaka, but not for cost by those uh, severe spears. I think he actually charged into spears. Um, they were actually blocking him off. Mm. It might have been a mischarge. Oh, the bird are coming in for Pelasgus. Oh. Ooh! Crippling shot in the last possible second to stop the charge. But he isn't stopping Spanus' charge this time, and that cavalry is still on top of him. Uh, so we're closing in as well. Yeah, with the Alistar Warrior coming to sandwich him. Still has that one unit that he can kite with, but that's uh, not very likely to be enough to win in the battle. Not to mention that 
Cast is pressuring him, and it also gets just right behind him. Yeah, they're definitely not winning. They're just going to anymore. circle back and uh, and take care of uh, Wicked Riot while they're at it. Yeah, Pelasgos is the last uh, man alive on the side of Royal Protests. Tried to work quite efficiently, but I think he just gave up now, realizing yeah. that there's no way he can win. Yeah, but he's the last man standing. So, it will be 3 0 for Lesbos Arches. And that brings us to match point. To match point. Indeed. It's the scoreboard. Yep. This time it's Noberta with top aggression score, and as I said, Hosaka took him over. <laughs> Probably get got some routing points. If you need chat, uh, well, despite the two minute delay, make it very sure that. Uh, but indeed, in that in that history three, um, Peltast actually make made uh, uh, tried to make the best of uh, of Lesbos Archers being misaligned, uh, but unfortunately, couldn't do that thoroughly. And the uh, Spanish uh, and his team um, actually turned it around and reinforced very well. Pretty impressive stuff. Yep. I hope I think the teams what... realize it's best of four, uh, best of seven. <laughs> well, they're fighting to four wins. So this is a uh, match point. Yep, and Sparats and his Lesbos Arches are so far so so dominating. Um, so far they are actually mostly executing aggressive tactics but showing in the last two battles that they can uh, pull off uh, successful defensive tactics as mm. well. Most of all that they are really capable of being a level head. Um, it feels like one mistake is never enough to face them. You can readapt very quickly. 